Good morning. It is July 24th. It's actually the morning I posted episode 42, and now I'm starting on episode 43 right now. And today is all about getting that thing on that trailer, and we're going to take it out to Alan Dakota's place, and we're going to try to get some primer put on this thing. Hey, welcome to Brody's Garage. Well, actually, today it's Al's Garage. That's Alan Nakata in the background there, and we are masking up the Nova, throwing some paper and tape on there. We're gonna rough this thing in, throw some epoxy primer on it, get it like one uniform color all around. At least that's the goal. And uh, yeah, make it look presentable, you know what I'm saying? You know, in this day and age with all the matte finishes, it might just stay primer. Maybe that's the final color for this thing, is just gray primer. I've done worse. All right, here we are inside the spray booth at Al's shop. And uh, man, we kind of kicked ass on this today. We got it in here, I don't know, noon or something like that. And we've been hustling on the sanding. Uh, Al did all the DA work there with the orbital sander and I've been kind of cleaning up all the edges. And even with a lunch break, it's now 4.30 p.m. And it's in the booth, we're gonna do a final wrap on it wipe it down clean and spray some epoxy primer on it. Just thought you'd all like to get one last look at the car with its sort of black sealer color on it because it's about to turn all gray. I can't wait. And there it goes. And there it goes Bear, our shop buddy. All right, let's see what's going on. Okay, well there you go. We have a coat of the epoxy primer on the Nova. I even got this for some myself. Okay, 
Okay, good morning. Today is July 25th. I just got back to Al's shop and I'm anxious to see how the primer job turned out. This is my first look. So let's go check it out. Hey. All right. The car is all one color. No, it looks pretty slick to me. Obviously, you can see uh, where the bodywork sections are. This is just epoxy primer. It's by no means a high build primer. It's not sanded, nothing yet. Just epoxy to give it some uh, adhesion promotion and rust protection and all that. But hey, looks better than being six different colors. It is. All right, I'm gonna get this tape and paper off and then we'll get another look. Okay, there's our first look without the paper and tape on it. Man, pretty mean looking if you ask me. So now I'm just gonna throw the uh, headlight and tail light bezels back in and uh, gonna get it back on the trailer. I'm gonna take it home. And the next steps are gonna be to install the window glass. I'm gonna install the side mirrors which I've got the rectangular uh, GM style instead of the oval. Um, gonna get the hood on it. Gonna get this thing tuned and get the lights in it, get the turn signals working and make it street legal. And I'm gonna try to get this thing registered and insured. Well, if there was ever a car that had attitude, this is it right here. Man, that thing looks menacing. That dark gray primer. Twin turbo LS3 sticking out of there. <laughs> uh, Al came back and did a little rattle can primer job on that little nasty looking patch in the firewall, so that's an improvement too. But uh, well, every single uh, day lately has been a step forward in the right direction. I hope things continue at this rate. It's been a very, very trying time just to get to this point, and it's been a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, and I've got the scars to prove it. But here we go. Got it loaded up on the trailer. Gonna head back home. Continue our work there. But uh, I would say it's transformed 100% in the last couple days. Very pleased. Thank you, Al. And thank you, Chapo. So I'm driving back from Pahrump, where Al's shop is. It's about an hour from my house. And uh, it is pouring rain. The Nova is following me very closely, and uh, we taped off the holes in the dash. I threw a furniture pad over the electronics. I'm just praying that nothing gets damaged by the water here. It is coming down hardcore. Well, me and the car made it home safely, thank God. Coming down, there's a pretty steep grade going uh, between here and Pahrump, Nevada. And I was coming down in a torrential downpour and the car kept wanting to go faster, of course, once I got to the top side of the hill and was coming downhill and downshifting and testing the brakes and there was just very little to nothing there. And it was a little scary. Um, but I managed to get it home safely. Um, Al stuck around long enough to get me unloaded and we popped the hood on here. It, of course, needs a lot of adjustment. This whole front end needs uh, a lot of adjustment. So everything's kind of on here cockeyed right now. I'm not too concerned, I'll, I'll figure it out. But I wanted to show you uh, these cool little hood louvers here. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Um, I got these from a guy I actually saw them on another Nova online and I said, where'd you get those? And he pointed me to the page and it's, I'll put it in the description here, but it's, I think 1969 Skunk Works or something like that. But it's, these are really for a Z28 67 or 60 to 67 to nine Camaro. And I saw them on a Nova and loved them. And of course with the turbos, I'm very concerned about underhood heat. So not only do I think they look cool, but also it'll help with the heat management and excavation. So, uh, I'll spin the camera around and give you a closer look. So there you go. Um, obviously they're sitting above the hood right now and they will be made flush. So I will have to cut into the hood and the reinforcement and figure all that out. But you can see that they're louvered and they've got the little grill vents in there. 
Very nice. Um, I guess that's mild steel. I don't think it's made out of stainless, but um, yeah, we'll get those cut and welded into the hood, and I think they're going to look pretty boss. So the hood um, needs some adjustment. As you can see, it's it's rubbing right there, and it's loose in the back, and this side here is tight all around, but the fenders aren't perfectly aligned yet. The uh, core support needs to be moved over again, and so there it is, though, folks. The car is back home with a coat of primer on it, a hood sitting on it. There's a little glimpse into the future right there. So that's going to conclude this episode. Uh, the next steps. Uh, the next steps are my goal is getting the car, as I mentioned in the previous episode, street legal and registered. So I'm going to put the lights in, uh, get everything wired up. I've got a tuner guy that's supposed to come by tomorrow evening and help me get uh, the tune sorted and hopefully the thing will idle better. Um, I can't really do too much. I can't take it out for any high speed driving, unfortunately, just yet. I've still got uh, some things to consider with the suspension. I've got to get uh, all that sort of figured out and at least a rough alignment. Um, I've got to get it registered, of course, and make it totally street legal before I can get on it too much. But hopefully a base tune calibration with some tweaking, I can at least get it to where it's ready for that and it'll idle and get around when I need to move it. So that's the plan for right now. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, why don't you do that right now? And if you know somebody else that's a car enthusiast or a Nova junkie, uh, send them on over to my channel so they can check it out. I appreciate you watching. Till the next time. Bye-bye.